Hey guys, what's up? So, thought I'd show you a new purchase here. Um, Alright, cool. So, hopefully, this is what I'm thinking it is. This came from New Jersey. I'll try to do this one hand. Alright, let's see what we got here. I have a feeling I think I know where it is, that's why I'm making this video. So, okay, let's see. Alright, what is this? <laughs> okay, what do we get? Alright, this is the... Let's see how I open this. How do I open this? There we go. Alright, it looks like it came with some version 101 and... Maybe you understand, maybe you see what this is? It's a fake knockoff um, Ford VCM clone. And this is actually came from the United States. And I guess New Jersey. And this was 136 bucks, free shipping. And this will hopefully be, allow me to um, be able to troubleshoot my uh, F-250. Uh, my power stroke 6 liter. So, the issues I'm having with that is uh, I can't pass smog. I mean, I don't have any sort of like, uh, you know, I don't have any uh, check engine light or any kind of codes. The only code I have is P1000, and that's a drive cycle incomplete, EGR. And, uh, yeah, I've driven about 225 okay, miles on it. So I got another one. Okay, cool. So, I've driven about 225 miles, and, uh, all right, sorry about that, guys. The kid's trying to show me his. Toys. Looks like it came with a fake uh, barcode sticker. I don't. VCM. All right, and it came with like the cable, the ODB uh, onboard diagnostics cable. So I gotta get a laptop or my tablet. I don't know if the tablet's pow powerful enough to run the software. But I figured um, for the for the cost, 130. If I can get this thing to work, I mean, I, who knows? But I figure for the cost, it's 136 bucks. I mean, it's better, at least I'll have better insight on what's, what's happening with the engine. Because I don't want to be able to just, like, th sort of throw no money away at sensors, you know what I mean? That aren't the actual problem. And as far as I know, the truck has never actually had a, any sort of EGR delete on it, so... I mean, even if I, if I actually had an EGR delete, I'd be getting an air, insufficient, you know, airflow code on the uh, EGR side of it, so... I'm going to get this going, get fired up on some software, and I'll show you guys. We're actually running. And, um, that's funny, it came with some CDs. I don't even know what's on these things. I already have my own version of software. You know, if you guys want to make it legit, you can buy the software. Uh, I'm going to get a trial soft version of the software to mess with this, you know. Like a legit, legit, at least I know where the copy came from. Downloaded from Ford, but... Where are you going? Um, yeah, there's actually a bunch, there's lots of places where you can get the uh, bootleg software, so if you want to try that, I'm not going to do that on video for you, because that's serious I mean, it could be a no-no um okay so yeah try this thing out hopefully uh, I'll, I'll be stuck if i could actuate the EGR valve and you can tell me if it's actually working or not so all right so next uh i'll be back with my laptop and uh, we'll get the uh, software installed on that and get this tested and uh might do an injector uh contribution test and so hopefully i'm gonna be able to get some like really good insight on what's going on with my engine and for 136 bucks it could save me a lot of time and money throwing throw money at it and sensors and stuff. So, all right. Cool. Okay, guys, back here, and I'm actually working on that VCA uh, M2 clone. And uh, uh, Daddy. Yeah. Is that the moon? That's the moon. Okay, go back. Go back. Go back. Okay, go back. Okay, cool, cool. So, um, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I have a moon moon back screen, one of my screens. So. Been working on this for uh, all night long, and you can see in front of me, um, which I highly suggest is to run this in VMware, like some kind of player or Hyper-V or some sort of like technology like that. Whereas you don't really want to modify the registry on your actual computer, the your main computer, because in case something happens or you got to redo it, you're not you don't have to go through your registry and you know mod mess with all the stuff that. Uh, sorry, eating back there. Okay, so as you can see, um, I've actually done a couple different tests here, and um, I'll show you Windows 
the one that Windows 7 one 64 bit. So you can see that. So I have already plugged in a USB. You can see it's powered on. I do have an external power adapter in case I need it, but um, yeah, this was actually a total pain in the ass. And the CDs that came with this thing didn't actually have like any sort of manuals or, or drivers for this thing. So this whole time I, I'd messed around with it. And I thought, okay, maybe it's not compatible with 64-bit Windows. So I put Windows XP on there, and uh, but really these this thing this is actually not compatible with the standard VCM driver. So the chip on here is different for some reason. So I, I guess I just want to hopefully save some people a lot of time and let you know that this file right here, this is the VX driver dash properties, the VX driver uh, VCM2, two, two, that's actually the, that's the driver. So this thing won't even be recognized in the device manager until you actually get that. It basically would normally say like VCM, like uh, unrecognized device. So it's not going to even load this device until you actually load these drivers. And you can find them on the internet. It took me, it took me a couple hours or about an hour to, to find these things, but they're out there. Um, so I am actually doing a three day trials. I mean, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to bootleg IDS because uh, I don't want to get in trouble for that because, yeah, I, I've actually messed with different versions. One of those, these, I, these are, these are legit copies I got off Ford's website and some of the older versions can do a three day trial. Okay. Thank you. Um, hold on a second. Okay. So I'll have to make it back. Sorry about that. We just got back from McDonald's. So he's, went through his french fries already he's trying to get mine okay so back here so this driver is actually critical like i said this this vcm clone thing will not even work unless you have this driver and this driver actually didn't come on my cds I, my, my thing came with two cds and hold on you trying to take on my french fries or what okay um hold on a second can't concentrate i'm actually running blocking back there all right, um, back here again. Kids trying to steal my French fries. Um, okay, so I just wanted to show you. I should have it loaded. So when you actually install that that um, that driver, it's going to make this folder right here the VX driver, and that way you can actually choose. Um, you're going to want to choose a VCM two plus, and that's going to like install, and make it like a register modification. Close. And then we'll go back, and I don't know if that's going to work. It did work, it worked last night, um, the VCM manager. Okay. Sometimes this crashes the program, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, close the program and try it one more time. But it, it will see the thing in the software. Okay. So. But I think this IDS already expired already. So let's see here. Okay, yeah, this one's out of date. So this one expired, so I'm not going to be able to use this one, but... Um, in the next video, I'll show you the, uh, me using the IDS software, um, on a different, that, that's actually why I have, I have multiple versions of this because I, I didn't know last night I was experimenting. So, but like I said, if you actually have this clone, man, it, you need to have this driver. It's not going to work without it. So that's, that's the main thing here. And I, I spent hours trying to figure it out last night, like four or five hours installing different operating systems. Didn't know if, because I thought, I figured that the CDs that actually came with the device would have the drivers on them. Or I, I figured I would have everything I need on those CDs that came with it, but you don't. And there's no documentation or nothing. So, okay, I'm going to shut this down and I will be back. I'm actually, I'm going to install this on my laptop. This is actually my, my main main computer here, but I'm going to put this on my laptop so I can go in the truck and uh, do some tests here. So, um, hey guys, back here, day three. I uh, have about 15 hours into it and still no go. Um, I've tried two different versions of software. I've tried uh, 105, or no, three different versions of software, 105, uh, 101, and 97, and still no luck. So what happens is um, I connected the truck, and uh, it seemed like it wants to go. Like when I do the scan, it, it, it detects the, the truck. But then I get, it like freezes up and I get like some kind of test error. Like there's a couple of numbers I don't have in front of me, but I get like an error right in front of me and I can't go any further. And then the whole software locks up. 
and uh, I just want to show you this is where I bought it on eBay and uh, it said this guy came from the city of industry but it, it, this came back from New Jersey because this is about an hour from where I live and if it came from there it would have came in one day but this took about a week to show up so and it said New Jersey on the on the shipping label so um, okay and I just I guess I want to show you the differences of what in their pictures and what I got so all this looks the same it came with all that the carry case the cables uh, phone ringing here all right guys back here so yeah phone wranglers doing this video so I, I do I am actually working <laughs> right now um, okay where was I at I was, I was gonna show you uh, the packaging that's what came in it looks just like that on the outside stickers and all but the difference is the PCB looks totally different so that is the front side it's missing like the little daughter card if you see like on that one there's actually an extra daughter card like right here and then it doesn't have this flash chip it doesn't have a lot of these different chips but there's not even provisions on the motherboard for it so I mean there just looks like a provision there for like this micro SD card slot but that's not there um, so it's definitely different than this picture so if I can get this thing to work that's definitely an argument that dude you sent me the it's, what you sent me looks totally different than the pictures I mean if you send me a picture of the PCB <laughs> it should probably look exactly like what you're what you're gonna send me that's the back of it it's definitely uh, obviously missing a lot of chips and the problem is it's not even just missing the chips the whole PCB is different so um, so what I learned about you know dealing with computers for the last 20 years is lots of times like when you look at motherboards um, and you see all these like spots that look like they uh, could possibly have it like a chip and it's missing the chip like solder points is that the company will actually remove components let's say like, like a computer motherboard right like these cheaper Chinese uh, firms that make motherboards um, will keep on removing components like a lot of the stuff is just like you know like a, like a sound card or USB not you know not on there like the chip is missing and then the related capacitors and diodes and all that stuff are missing but a lot of times what they'll do is they'll remove all these filter capacitors they'll keep on removing them until the system becomes unstable and then add a few back so they can save on cost you know so they try to remove as much crap as they possibly can that actually stabilizes the motherboard you know before it fails and then they add a few back to make it sort of stable again that's why those uh, Chinese motherboards that are you know, if they're not like a name brand like Intel or, I mean, Asus is pretty good. I mean, there, there's some good brands out there. But usually, like, the, the the computer manufacturers will come out with a spec of what they want. The Chinese will cheaply try to bypass as much as they possibly can by using less components to save money. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so that was it. Uh, that thing. So I've already tried three different versions of software three failures today I'm gonna to try version 8.6 and if that doesn't work then I'm gonna say dude give me the one give me the the device in the picture you know because this seems like this office oh yeah this thing doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi normally this is supposed to have Wi-Fi so I'm trying to figure out what part of this board is the actual Wi-Fi yeah I, I don't know if it's the actual extra daughter card that's doing the Wi-Fi but um yeah no wi-fi and this looks totally different like that totally missing completely different okay all right so so we got about 15 hours in this already so um but oh yeah what i was saying is uh i also dude if you're running a repair shop you know and you're actually fixed you're getting paid to fix these these cars man there's no way in hell i'd run this thing um you know, on some other person's car that I'm working on, just because I've actually heard stories where people would actually go to like flash the the firmware on the PCM, and it erases the PCM, but then it fails on the rewrite. So what they do is they end up bricking their, their customer's car, and you hear at least they're all stressing out. They can't their customer's car won't work anymore. You know, and uh, yeah, if I if I was a Ford repair shop, I would definitely there's no way in hell be running this thing. Yeah, I mean, that would be so embarrassing to sit there and, and, and uh, brick your customer's car, you know? 
but uh, yeah, this is just my own personal truck. I'm trying to actually do it. I just want to do an EGR test, man. So I have the single fucking pass mug. That's it. You know, that's all I want to do is I want my car to pass mug, but I wanted a tool that would maybe hopefully maybe give me some better insight on what's happening. Um, this thing, I supposedly supposed to have some thorough EGR test. And that's the part of the smog I'm not passing. It's the EGR readiness test. So, and I've driven about 250 miles. So that's another video, uh, the previous video of me trying to get things smogged. But, uh, all right, cool, man. I will be back. Try version 8.6. Hey, Jeff. Okay, guys. I don't know if you can see me here, but let's see here. Um, can take them on the frame here. Okay, so... Um, this is, uh, my third and final attempt. Uh, I already failed already with this version, but I, I guess I just want to show you how this thing is failing. So, hopefully you don't hear my kid in the background. Let me quickly, uh, show you the, uh, VCI manager. And why did I have to show it this time? The, uh, unplug it again. So I should see uh, when this thing's working right. It's this is Windows 95 or right, so version 8.6. Okay, then now you see it. This thing is so touchy; it's crazy. So let me go into IDS here, and I'll show you what I'm getting. No matter what version of software, I mean, I've tried 105, 101. This is 8.6. I've tried 9.7. Yeah, four different versions of software, I guess. Um, and about 20 hours. So let's see what we got here. So this is, it was funny. It almost wants to work. So check this out. I can see the activity light going on. I you can see that. I, don't, I want to be careful what it was. You can see the activity light going on there. It's connected to my truck, OD onboard diagnosis port. And so see, look at this. So it sees the truck, you know, this is a power strip, six liter, 2006. But the error that I get is, uh, you'll see in a couple seconds, it has to go, see it's down at the bottom, it says, it says network testing, gathering vehicle data at the very bottom. So, this is still recording, yes it is. And I get this weird testament error, no matter what version of software. So, interesting too because I, mean, I do this kind of shit all day long for a living troubleshooting computer problems and uh, I don't know if this is driver related or software related or just the hardware specifically inside this thing see they're, they're test mirror record these numbers so obviously I can't call them but and I'm sure the person I'm actually going to talk to when I say when I, when I'm going to ask the person like what the hell's going on the person I bought it from um, they're probably not going to know because they're just a reseller of this shit but like I said in the previous video, you can see that the PCB or the circuit board didn't even match. What I got and what they actually had on their, on their picture were completely different. So I do have some, I guess, argument, I guess. But well, that's it, guys. I mean, you saw what I went through. It's about 20 hours. Uh, I reinstalled my OS with uh, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 10. Tried everything you could think of. Different drivers, different everything. Uh, read for probably eight hours and uh, no go so I don't know if they make a different one of these things that actually has a different circuit board that's better or if they actually make a unit that looks like the one in the picture that I was supposed to get I don't know so but I'm kind of pissed because I want to figure out the hell what's up with my truck you know what I mean and I mean I, in my other, other video I make doing like a smog and me trying to pass smog I did actually have a clogged up kind of a sticking EGR valve like the EGR itself was pretty clean but the valve itself was kind of sticky, not going all the way back in. It was very, very uh, sluggish. So I cleaned it all up so it's opening and closing. Good now. And I just drove it for about 10 or 15 miles. Still hasn't gone into pass. My, my EGR system still hasn't passed. So, you know, the whole reason why I wanted to buy this thing was so I could see what was up. So I could pass smog. So, all right, back to square one again. I don't know if I'm going to complain or what am I going to do with this freaking thing. So, all right, guys. Later.